Greetings everyone, this is Shavar Khan and in this lesson we're going to learn how to bypass login panels. There are many kind of methods that can be used to bypass admin or login panels or any other type of panel. In this lesson we'll learn the first technique and method that is used. Now before we go further, let me explain what an admin panel is. Most of the application has a panel for management that is used for controlling the entire application. That management portal can be used for um, uploading images, changing the site contents or some other stuff. Here you can see an application which is asking for admin username and password now the first technique is that we have to identify what the files are located in the admin directory or what are the files that is having admin functions like some admin panels have a dashboard file settings upload content file or something like that sometimes they are not properly protected like suppose it's the login panel if you open something like dashboard.html it will be open without any login panel like you can see in this site We can see that by opening admin dashboard.html we got access to the panel here without logging in. Some admin panels are improperly configured. They are misconfigured and they are not doing authentication check on each file. Like when we open a login page, they are checking if the proper credentials are entered. But if you open settings or any other kind of dashboard area, they are not checking it there. So the first technique is this one. We, we open a login panel, we enumerate files. We detect files that are available there like admin login, admin dashboard, or whatever it is we can use google docs we can search on google bing we can use some directory menu, uh, enumerators or any other thing to find out what files are having in the admin panel if it's something like this then we can access something like dashboard or whatever it is and Sometimes they are not they are not doing uh, um, authentication check, so we can simply get access to the panel. So method one is we enumerate files and access them and check if there is being if their authentication is being checked, if they're checking the user is logged in or not. You can see here it's still saying that hi admin even I'm not logged in. So it's a misconfiguration. That's the method one for accessing login panels. Greetings everyone, this is Shawar Khan and in this lesson we're going to learn how to bypass admin panels. This is the second technique that we're going to discuss in this lesson. So we got our target application here and you can see here it's taking a username and a password field alright so let's try to open it directly but that doesn't work we got two files here index and the login.php the one we're seeing here and
T that, that is having the functionality, it redirects us to the login panel because we are not authenticated right now. So how to by bypass these kind of panels in these conditions? In order to bypass these kind of conditions, first we have to we have to enumerate the um, files. We have to access them directly first and have to see if they are accessible. But in this case, we have accessed both of the files, but nothing special there. So what we have to do is that we have to check the redirection. So let's check the re redirection here. It is option on and let's try to access it. Alright, so let's see the source code of the response. Alright, so you can see here we can see the source code of the admin panel. We can see the functionality. But on top of the status line you can see that it's doing a redirection here to the login panel because we're not authenticated right now. So what it what it's doing is it's moving us to the login panel but it's also showing us the source code let's remove the location header and the 302 found to 200 ok that will stop the redirection let's forward it deception off and we access the admin panel Sometimes the application forgets to. Um, sometimes the application is misconfigured, uh, misconfigured, and it forgets to hide the response when the redirection is being done. As you can see in this source code, there is a condition. If the password is equal to Shahar Khan. A message will be shown welcome admin else it will be redirected to the login panel then after the code there is the admin panel source code now the mistake is here is if the password is shower Khan this will be shown else a redirection will be done then the source code will be print will be returned while the proper way to fix this vulnerability is to show the source code when the password is correct and hide the source code when the um, redirection is being done so this thing should be shown here when the password is correct it should be shown here There are many kind of applications out there that's having the same um, misconfiguration. Even top car companies and other things are vulnerable to these kind of bypasses. So this is a trick to be noted and this is method 1 to bypass the admin panels. Hello everyone, this is Shabar Khan and in this session we will learn how to bypass admin panels and login panels using the third method. Most of the times there are applications that use HTTP based on um, authentication like this. We open the panel and it shows us the dialog here. We have to enter the username and password in order to access the panel. else this won't be open this is what happened behind the scene actually it checks for the password here in the HD password file and you can see sometimes the application um, protects some specific um, verbs you can say verbs are HTTP methods, HTTP verb, HTTP method are actually kind of same. So sometimes the application 
block specific methods like in this case it's blocking get and post but the other method like um delete, delete matter method had and some others are not blocked here using different methods in order to bypass the protection like these are called http verb tampering so we can see here if you make a get request here we got the authentication similar to same thing with the post request let me show you you will get the same response now in order to bypass this protection we, what we will do is that we will um try any kind of different method like um delete method or any method that that doesn't exist let's try delete or let's try something random here in case if they're blocking each and every method they can sometimes forget to block random um, methods like like this one let's see I use Shahar Khan as, as the method name alright so let's see if we can bypass this alright so unable to bypass at the moment let's send it to repeater so we can work on it properly so get is blocked okay let's try um delete method options head method let's try to you open the index sometimes it's blocked if you open it directly right same thing here now let's capture the request we all, we have we always have to refer to the file here let's try sharkhan now the only difference is i'm using the file name here let's see if that works and we bypass the panel by using the Shahar Khan method or we could use anything else any name any random um, invalid name in order to bypass this that's because um, it was only restricting get and post method for authentication and if if any other method is used it will directly lead us to the admin page the admin dashboard so that's how we bypass these kind of protections Hello everyone, this is Shavar Khan and in this lesson we're going to learn how to bypass two-factor authentication. For those who don't know what is 2FA or two-factor authentication, let me explain that first. Most of the applications or websites have two type, um, two-step authentication like first we have to enter our credentials, username and password then the second authentication step is we have to verify or we have to um complete another step in order to log in into an into our account like on facebook and some other domains they allow us to enable 2fa like um, whenever we log in using our credential after the login process we get a code on our, on our um, mobile phone or email 
we have to enter that code into the website in order to access our account or sometimes you have to um, scan the QR code in order to access the account so that's an additional step to the authentication process like PayPal is also having a 2FA functionality that if, an, if a mobile number is attached user have to enter the pin or the code that is sent to the phone number in order to access his account so that's the two-factor authentication now there are some techniques that can be used to bypass two-factor authentication that we're going to discuss in this lesson so the first technique is brute force most of the time it is possible that the authentication that the application is um, doing the 2FA is weak by weakness I mean the code that they're using can be brute forced we have to check how to we have to check if it's if we can brute force it sometimes some application um, has a kind of four digit code or three digit code then it is possible to guess the number by doing some attempts like if there is three digit password if there, uh, the three digit code we can find the code valid code after a thousand attempts but we have to check if we can brute force it sometimes their protection they're using capture protection or some other to block our access or some kind of stuff so we have to check if we can brute force by brute forcing we can guess the password or the code that is sent to the message by, um, by the application so that is the method one the next thing is the response tampering now most of the application has a different kind of response like um, if a code is entered a request will be sent to the server and in response in the response the server will send something like um, success or error occurred sometimes the application works on response now if the server uh, responds with an error message the site will ask us to enter next code or the valid code if the server respond with a word success successful or something like that the application knows that the server um, responded posi uh, respond positively that the server sent something that is not an error so sometimes we can modify the error or the response in order to access or bypass the 2FA like I, I've seen some cases in in my um, in my penetration testing projects that the server responds in a JSON format like um, success or anything like that if an error, error is, is occurred we have, what we have to do is that we have to um, change the error message to success or the positive response then we can bypass the authentication this technique works if there is um, response based mechanism the next method is the forced browsing most of the um, application is not properly validating the authentication uh, flow like if a site is asking for 2FA code if we directly access the settings it is possible that we can bypass the protection many bug bounty platforms were vulnerable to this kind of bypasses just like we discussed in our previous lesson we bypassed login panels using the forced browsing technique we enumerated the files we accessed them and they were not validating if these if the user was logged in or not so just like that we have to access some kind of page after entering our password when the site asks for 2FA we have to access settings we have to access anything 
and we have to check if it's validating our session or not if it's if it can bypass the authentication or not sometimes this technique also works now the last last method is alternative panel we have to find an alternative panel recently i have discovered a vulnerability in paypal that i was able to bypass their two two fa mechanism by using an alternative panel most of the time if we log uh, a site is having multiple panels to log in like on different domains we can use the same credential to log in in those cases we have to test each and every panel sometimes a panel is not having 2fa protection there in the paypal scenario one of the paypal login page was not having um the 2fa protection i logged in using my credential and that directly led to my account without asking for 2fa 2fa code so we can find an alternative panel and we can try logging in to see if we can bypass the protection so these are some methods that i've used for bypassing 2fa